Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Getting right into um, <laughs> this particular uh, little escapade I'm getting into at the moment. I am going to do a few pours on and uh, bling up some insulated cups and then I'm going to resin them. So this particular one is an insulated cup that was my husband's which i've stolen it and as you see um i sprayed it with alcohol to get all of my uh skin oils off it but as you can see i'm handling it all over again so um i will need to do that redo that before i put any uh coating on it so I'm, I'm masking taping up the areas that I don't want any paint or um, glitter to get onto so yeah it's just a new little thing that I'm going to just try and do something a bit different each week maybe if I do you know one of these cups it might not be one a week or or it may be it depends how much I enjoy but I'm not only going to do cups I'm going to pour on some vases um, yeah I'm going to you know put some other things in there as well that uh, a joy to do and these are a good idea because Christmas coming up you can do them for gifts so I'm just covering with the masking tape all the areas like I said that I don't want anything to get into oh and there you go magically done all the um oh here we go this is a like little sponge Thing that I got from the toy shop and I'm hoping that when I push it in the cup it'll be what holds the cup on my um, cup turning machine that my hobbies made me but I'm actually making those particular sticks so I can push my cup in and push the in and hold it while I'm just painting and sealing the actual cup so I thought that was a little bit of a good idea myself so the first process now is to use an undercoat primer so this is just a spray undercoat primer I am doing the voiceover because I have my um, mask on as well here so obviously if you're doing any spraying any resin even um, glitter you should really wear a really a good rest a respirator mask is it respirator mask so um there's no chance of that stuff getting in your lungs because it is very dangerous that first coat's pretty rough old coat but um i just wanted something to go over the oh hang on <laughs> oh saying oh hang on um because i'm trying to think of what that was the it's called glitterific i think or i can't remember i'll have to have a look at that it was something that i got from capriol shabby chic and it's really like a really a glitter coat in a paint you do have to give several coats if you wanted to just use that as your color on your cup or vase or whatever but it is very glittery up close so but yeah, it needs several coats, uh, you know, and in between coats it needs drying. So those little sponges are great. Sponge brushes are great for doing things like this. So I'm giving again a rough old coat. I think next time I have to really uh, be a little bit more mindful. Okay, we're back to the next stage I want to do, which is the... <laughs> The favourite part, the glitter. Um, the last stage where I just put that one coat of the uh, glitter paint on it because I kind of realised that when I come to do the glitter, I'm going to fully cover it with glitter. I recoated my um, lip here with some fresh masking tape. I didn't recoat that, so I'm going to start to glitter. So I am going to use my Turner. I'm gonna push my cup right it actually I don't need the cup turner for the for the coating of the Mod Podge but probably for the glitter I do 
yeah I think I'll just do my actual coating um, of the Mud Pudge I'm going to use I will just use yeah I'll just do that not on the um, Turner okay not on the Tina Turner I will just do it so I've got I'm using Mod Podge I have got some spray adhesive which I could have used but again then I would have to wear my respirator and take it outside so I just want to uh, do do it with the mud. I'm going to try it with the Mod Podge remember this is the very first time I've done these cups so I'm hoping that I can do a pour over a cup so I don't know if I want to go down or up or whatever but you know my first time I'm giving it a try so here we go I'm gonna put glitter everywhere and I'm sure it will be everywhere over me over <laughs> finding it through the house everything let's just give this a go this is an odd shaped cup like I've seen the nice sleek tall skinny cup so I'm going to try and order some of those off Amazon I suppose I will get them from So I suppose yeah, I'll put that aside. Now I will with my cup turner. I don't suppose this matters whether this is actually dead because I need a see that's gonna fall out of there. What's going on here? Johnny K, he made my cup turner for me, but I need to get a thicker sponge to go inside. So I'll turn it on. All excited. I have got a video that, that I made. <laughs> I asked my dear hubby, please let me do the video of you making this cup turner. So people want to try it, they can. So I'll put this tray underneath to catch all my glitter. Oh, no, that's not going to work what's going on that's not gonna work so turn it off I've got a fix better way of doing that haven't I maybe if I put that on it as well if I put that on it as well push that in See, it's all a learning process. Like I said, I haven't done this before, so I have no idea. Maybe that might work. Let's see if that works before me much punch dries. Come on. Okay, now I've got my... The glitter that I can't open. I thought I'd open this one. I'm pretty sure I'll use this colour. Okay, I've got, got my glitters from the online store Capriole Shabby Chic they've got absolutely a ton of them a ton better get that glue off there because it will stick to that but okay I want the maybe should just do the top edge first, then work my way down. Oh my goodness, look at this glitter. I've got a tray underneath because you can just I can just then tip the glitter back into the container.
and reuse it so nothing is wasted. Ooh, getting excited. Okay, now for the bottomy bit. So I'll just move that out, hoping that my Mod Podge is not too dry. I'm not sure whether these are going to stick. These are the, these are like little sequiny things, but I can do another coat, I presume, after. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't this exciting? Oh, I'm hoping my granddaughter loves this. Then I can do all the girls one in our granddaughter's. Two granddaughters in Tasmania. My granddaughter is down in Sydney. And we've got another um, step. I hate saying step. She's a granddaughter now because she's part of the family. And she's up here. And we've got granddaughter on the way due before Christmas. So that's very exciting for the family. Oh, I've just realised I've mixed the two. I should have got the one glitter up. So maybe I'll just put some this glitter as well on top to fill in the bits that the other one didn't. Oh, I have got a whole box full of glitters to try here. So make sure I've got plenty around the rim. I think I'm going to leave this to dry for a couple of hours and then I will go back over it again just to make sure there's plenty on there I suppose. You can never have too much glitter, hey? But the one thing I should have done was collect the one colour up before I added the next colour. So, but those are going to be mixed now. Look at that. <gasps> lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tap it or to make sure the glitter sticks but let's give it a go eh maybe I can stop the cup turner this cup cup turner was very cheap to make um, and I have done another video well I filmed John and made him do a video um, explaining what he did and I could have done I could have now he's shown me how to do it definitely anyone can do it. I think that definitely the bottom needs more glitter. So I'll allow that to dry and then I'll go, or should I allow it to dry, I'll just go back over it with Mudge Podge and more glitter. Just making sure all my glitter sticks. I think I'll let this dry. Put a bit of glitter on that. Oh, it's gone up. Oh, I'm getting it right all messy up. Oh. oh, the bird's going off out there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm going to just leave it to dry now. I will leave it on the cup turner. Oh, I need that in it, I believe. It just I need to get a bigger sponge for the end to go in my... I need a bigger sponge thing. Well, they're just sponge balls, as I showed you at the beginning. So there you go. I'm going to leave that to dry now, and then I'll come back and just glitter it some more. I'm back for the next exciting episode. I've got my turning machine all set up now. I um, definitely will have another video on, oh, I shouldn't have took that plug out, on the turning machine. Um, don't know why my plugs are hot. That's not a good thing, is it? Uh, so what I did, i pull this back out. I've got to find a better thing to push inside to get it more stable. Um, but I've re 
um, put some more of the masking tape around. I've blinged it up a bit more, as you can see. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Maybe I'll drop some glitter on that when I've put the first coat of resin on it. But this is my very first attempt, so I'm just giving it a, a try out first. So I went along with a bit more Mod Podge like that and I glittered a bit more up here but as you can see I have lost a bit there but I'll maybe just try and put a bit of the glitter in with the resin as I'm going around or so I'm just pushing my it cup into my cup holder my cup turner so it's obviously probably a lot easier to do if you haven't um got the handle on it so i have been looking for some more different tumblers and things that haven't got handles on because it's just a little bit less complicated i suppose when you haven't got to try and go around a handle and it's your very first time so i have my nitrile gloves I'm just wondering if I can add a bit of the tiny little bit of the um, uh, colour uh, color shift glitter stuff into um, acrylic. So I've got my liquid gloss that I got from the Capriole Shabby Chic, which is in the link below, and it's just a one one by one ratio so I just added 20 mils of cup A, of A and 20 mils of B I have no idea how much this cup will take for its first coat but that is what I'm using if anybody's got any other better products or ideas I am definitely open to suggestion I'm just looking if I could add tiny bit oh the dragonfly glaze if if i could add a little bit of this dragonfly glaze just a spot to my um mixed resin i'm gonna add a spot and i hope that it doesn't stuff anything up so i'm just just squeezing why won't it come out come, oh now there's a blob of oh, blooming blonkers so I have given my resin a really good stir. I hope that hasn't stuffed it up. But here we go anyway. So I might not talk through this because I'm going to concentrate. So I'm going to turn on my little machine. My cup turner. But I'm really thinking, oh my goodness, maybe I haven't got the... Um, it tight enough on there I'm just gonna try it so I'll give it a go Let's see how we go Let's see how we go so I'm gonna pour a little bit and then I'm going to oh that feels warm the resin feels so warm didn't realize So I'm going to just let the turner do its thing and but obviously I've got to get in there a bit haven't I oh wait for me wait for me wait for me So this is the first coat and from what I believe it will need several coats and a very light sanding in between each coat so I will definitely try to do that oh and a fly appears I do not believe it well I should because it seems to happen every time I'm just letting me turn and do its thing and just spreading it with my finger so hoping that I <laughs> well it's my very first time so I've got to 
you know, I'm just trying. Oh, well, that fly's landed on my hand, a cheeky monkey. Cheeky monkey. See, I'm losing some of the sparkles off that point. Oops, the days. So this is my first coat and I probably will have to do a few coats and I definitely probably going to try and cover up a few of these baldy spots which I should have probably done before I started resin I probably should have just put some more of the adhesive on but I didn't so I'm just trying to do the best I can at the moment for the first coat I'll just let the cup turner do its thing just making sure that I've got some resin on everywhere I'm sure the second coat will be a lot easier I believe um, I'll keep my dry hand I want to use my heat gun apparently he it heats it up and it helps it spread or something like that Benson you're such a naughty boy fancy being a dog on camera and barking Benson hey 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 there's no need for that quiet all day don't believe it Let's get okay. I'm gonna try and get this glove off now while I get my heat. Hey, hey, hey! Cut it out! Benson! Apparently when you heat it up it actually will burst air bubbles plus it makes it runnier, easier to work with again, so It's very sparkly. <coughs> I'm going to just try and add a bit of that, the last bit of the glitter. Where is that? particular one a uh, bit of glitter where it seems to have come off I probably definitely should have done this oops now I've gone too heavy handed on it but you can never have too much glitter right that's where it's come off Oh, I've got some more things planned for this so it's going to be fully loaded fully loaded so apparently I leave it now um, for at least a, I think I think I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to leave the first coat but I know I'm to leave it till it's dry and then I'll wet sand it back so I get that um, and then I'll go for the final coat or the next coat. I think I think I only have to give it two coats. I'm not sure. I've never done it, but having fun trying, and that's what it's all about. Oh look! Once I start with the glitter, I can't stop with the glitter. So much fun, guys! So definitely a nice thing to do before Christmas, I believe. So if you want to make some personalised gifts. And I did go to my charity shop and buy, I bought an insulated cup from there and I bought a few vases. So I'm going to bling up some vases. Well, actually, I'm going to do a paint pour over the vases. And then I will, um, what you call them, resin them. I think that's supposed to be kept really level so that's why I need to fix up something better to keep it level so I'm just gonna leave that now to fully dry and then I shall be back
My little um, first attempt on my cup blinging. This is an insulated cup. I've liquid glossed it. Uh, I mean, I've bling I've painted it and I've blinged it, but I think I over blinged it with those really sequiny type because they're sticking out even though I've rubbed it down in between after the first coat I rubbed it down really well but those sequiny things are sticking out so obviously you'd probably have to put a ton of um, epoxy resin to cover all of that so that's my, this is my first attempt so I will learn by that because great big chunky things obviously need a load of resin to cover them in, in cast them in there. My uh, little, what to call it, cup turner is doing really well, except I've learned that I could have it much shorter because I don't really need all of this long length. So I'm gonna get John to move that bracket up to the middle and then if the holes are left there then at least I can just move it up and down as I need you know if I've got a long skinny I have got a long skinny um, flask to do so that may be fine then because I can push that whole long skinny in there but um, yeah so I'll let this one turn for I don't know how many hours. I don't know how many hours I'm supposed to let it turn. Um, until it feels dry, I'm going to let it turn for. And then I will rub it back again with a very fine sandpaper. Oh, it's dropping off. Is it dropping off? Oh, flipping floppers. I need a better piece of sponge in it to hold it. And then I will um, I'll re epoxy it again. But definitely. Uh, learned that don't put chunky stuff on it because it takes too much epoxy to cover thank you guys for watching this is my finished product definitely not perfect but it's the very first time that I have ever attempted this particular thing so I'm hoping like everything else and everybody else you improve with persistence <laughs> and um, the want to do it so bye for now and talk to you all soon I'll be back tomorrow